All right, let's get back to our weather now. Lonnie Quinn is here. All eyes on the south shore of Long Island, north shore too, Jersey Even shore, the north, Connecticut you betcha. shore, all of it, right? No, that's, that's a great point to bring up because we're thinking, okay, this is all about the big waves that you find on the south shore. However, as this storm pulls away, then you're going to start getting a northerly flow. And yeah, you betcha the north shore of Long Island, you could have some flooding out there as well. But... I'll put everything into perspective for you and tell you what to, what to expect in just a bit. But right now, you look outside, you know, mostly clear skies are in the process of becoming cloudier because the clouds that are floating in are all associated with Lee. The temperature right now is 64. And you ready for this? 64 right now? You never got out of the 60s today in New York City. 69. The best you could do, the average is 77. So you're off the mark there. 76 tomorrow and 79 on Sunday. So we are putting bigger numbers on the board as far as the temperature is concerned. I just don't think Saturday is a good looking day. You're going to have more clouds, I think, throughout the area associated with Lee. A little bit of Lee's breeze as well. You'll have stronger winds the farther east you go. But even the east end of Long Island, we're talking maybe a 30 to 40 mile per hour gust. So it's not crazy. You certainly have stronger winds in the past. Sunday, it's a warmer day, about 79 degrees. And I think it looks good during the daytime hours. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So here we are tomorrow morning, 630. Look at how the clouds have just really overrun the entire tri-state area. Rain hasn't really made its way to even the east end. But it's a computer projection. I think this could be off by 100 miles or so. So a little bit of rain, a little bit of rain, half an inch or less for the east end of Long Island. Say that's a possibility. There's your center of circulation. This is Saturday, 6.30 in the morning. As you go through Saturday, it's pushing out of the area. And by Sunday morning, it's gone. All right. It's, it's north of Nova Scotia at that point in time. And look at the clear skies in our area. But look what's looming out there. An entirely different system, unrelated to Lee, will then come through later Sunday. You've got more clouds. And by late night Sunday into early Monday morning, we're talking about a little bit of rain in the area. This is the heavy stuff you see right here around the Chesapeake. And we were watching this earlier today. And, and I was even mentioning if it holds true that that's going to roll right over our area during the morning commute from Monday, we're going to probably issue a, a, a yellow alert for Monday morning. Right now, with the data that's coming in, and this is going to fluctuate back and forth, so please check in with us right throughout the weekend. But right now, it doesn't look like it sets up that way. It looks like it's going basically east of us, and that's your picture at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. So we do see some rain out there. Uh, on Monday, but right now, not enough for a yellow alert. All right, your timeline for this storm. Right now, the seas are building. We are call calling some waves possibly 10 to 12 footers developing, and you've got high tide in the morning around 9 a.m. That's what we're watching. Then for tomorrow, it's all about that same story, the high tides and the, because you've got a morning high tide and an evening high tide, both of which could be problematic, but it's the waves. The waves are causing the big problems out there. And the amount of rainfall, look at that. We don't see much at all from Lee but look what comes in on Monday. Some areas could be seeing over an inch of rain. Let's pull up that seven-day forecast. Mo, and talk through it. The weekend, mm -hmm. okay, so it's, it's rocky at the beaches for Saturday. Sunday, 79, you're still not necessarily done, but you have a brighter sky overhead. Monday, you're done with that system, but that's the day that you have a better chance for rain. And then after that, it's a really nice stretch of weather. So there we have it. We're very grateful this storm is not coming to our shores, but it's affecting our shoreline. Truly. All right. Thank you, Lonnie.